Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Kuke. So welcome again on our fun filled weekend. Today we're gonna talk about another session on harness that we were discussing in the last time. If you remember, we have done a couple of chaos experiments on harness. So today we'll be checking how to do deployment using harness, uh, which is a chaos engineering you know, tool. Uh, so we'll be doing that. So I've created a small GitHub page on to the chaos, how to create a chaos first, you know, pipeline. So uh, by the way, what is chaos engineering? Chaos engineering is a kind of, you know, uh, a framework to inject faults into your application so that we can see how resilient is your application. And there are a lot of tools available to do chaos, uh, like open source, you have litmus chaos, and then we have a license tool called as harness and a gremlin or a Gatlin, you can say for that matter. But today we're going to see uh, a first pipeline to create any application uh, using harness and then we'll inject chaos on that automated you know, pipeline. So why we want to do this session? Because you know there might be scenarios or use case where you want to do everything using harness only, like deployment of your application and then uh, putting uh, certain chaos tests like you know pod delete, uh, injecting CPU hog into your pod node and, and so on. So how we are how we are gonna do that stuff? So this is a small architecture that we'll be doing. So with the help of you know you know harness a browser, if you do not know how to connect or create an account on this harness you can watch my first video so first of all you'll go to the harness you know browser and then uh, you'll uh, uh, install certain uh, configurations to your environment and so that it will be configured or you can it will be connected and then uh, so on you'll press you know you'll be putting certain instructions via harness to clone the repository where you have all the application uh, data like uh, the manifest or the helm charts which you want to install on your environment so it's a pure ci cd uh, just similar to your azure devops uh, the harness ci cd also does the same thing it will pick up the uh, yamls from your uh, repositories and then it will install into your cluster and it will do a push pull also to your got docker hub repositories so let's quickly uh, see this small use case today and then we'll inject the false using the same chaos, uh, sorry, harness pipeline. Now, this is uh, the, uh, the the UI, or you can say, uh, you can either go to this uh, containers delivery and GitOps on this harness, or you can go to the chaos engineering, which we have talked about in our previous lecture. So now, first of all, let me go to this containers delivery. And, uh, you know, I can go back. Okay, let me just quickly go to close this. Okay, I'll come on to this pipeline section. This is a purely practical uh, thing. I have a uh, some documentation, but we'll check the Grafana matrices on this you know, application that is getting deployed. So I have an application which is uh, you know the the Python uh, Swagger based application. The configurations are stored in this repository so we'll be pulling all that data from this repository uh, and then we'll be installing that application on my cluster using this pipeline let me see if we have anything let me delete this application which we already have okay get all okay del of this application right perfect so now this application is getting terminated. So we do not have anything on this namespace, right? And first of all, uh, this is a K3D uh, mini cube cluster. You can see it's a K3D uh, mini cube single load cluster that we have uh, using in this experiment or in this you know session. So I'm deleting the uh, the application so that there's nothing you know. So there's nothing in this, you know, namespace. So I'm talking about this matrix namespace. Now we'll be installing all this application from this repository, but with the help of CI/CD, not manually. I will create a, you know, pipeline. I'll give the name as a demo pipeline. Okay. 
now uh, how we want to set up your pipeline i want to keep everything into my harness only i'll keep this inline and harness i'll click start i'll click add stage i'll click on deploy so that i can deploy my application and i'll click on a kubernetes type i'll give the name uh, called as you know demo let me need demo k3d suppose okay correct setup stage then uh, i'll uh, go to the service service is something which will connect uh, your source code so i'll say uh, demo service right again in line now i want to add the manifest of my uh, the kts and the kubernetes manifest that i stored in my in a github so i'm now connecting my how to connect to github that you can watch my previous video simply oauth uh, mechanism that you need to select you can supply selected click continue or you can select the new github connector also demo python i want to fetch my data from main branch now what is the path the path is uh, python app python app then uh, the deployment.yaml correct and then i'll give same path for config map and then same path for your service right So I am using these three manifests. I don't want to create my names because namespace is already there. So I want to deploy the deployment config map and service, and then I'll go ahead and submit it. Okay, and then I'll click save. So this will connect to my you know you know GitHub uh, as a demo service. Now I'll go to the environment. Since I'm doing everything fresh, I'll click new environment. I'll type my demo mini demo k3d right k3d i'll type pre-production then i'll you know hit save right and then i'll select the infrastructure i don't have any infrastructure i'll select new infrastructure and then i'll do demo k3d infra okay and then i'll select kubernetes and then i'll select the connector uh, let me collect connect a new connector this will connect my harness to the, uh, the k3d mini q cluster demo connector okay i'll click next i'll use the uh, rather than using url i'll use the uh, delegates of harness next i'll give install a new delegate uh, you you put a demo just for demo help the delegate and then I'll add this piece of codes into my right. Should grab update and then I'll install these CRD that Helm delegate, right? Now I'll see KNS my the harness delegate in space is there. I'll do HL Helm install. So you can see demo delegate is there. I'll do KGP. I can see a demo. Uh, helm delegate or this you no know, is trying to run or it is trying to get the details kv yeah so it is coming up let me uninstall the previous uh, the delegates that i installed some time back just to save some space and then this also Okay, my helm delegate is running let me see is there an error or yes it should be running let's see the status from this verify yeah heartbeat received everything see so my delegate is also ready now i'll select this helm delegate from this option demo and then next and i'll do condition test and then i'll select the namespace where i want to install my application metrics right i'll hit save perfect 
my infra is ready my mini cube is ready my service is ready then i'll click continue i'll do the rolling update i want to use its you know bare minimum strategy correct and then i'll hit save now my pipeline is being saved i'll just go back and then check this is running i'll come back to my matrix namespace i'll just see i will see whether is there any pod is running there is no pod pertaining to this uh, application is running now i'll go back and then trigger this pipeline let's see so i was doing it for the first time along with you so this is the console view this is the normal view now it will it is going to you know fetch the files from that github if it gives any error so it will you know give you the problem here only so it is trying to connect to the my github and just fetch three files so fetching of three files is done and then it is initializing it yeah we'll see the yeah the container is getting created you see runtime i'm just checking the data so initialize done fetch files done okay initialize done then prepare uh, then apply then cube apply all right and then waiting for steady state waiting waiting and then wrap up so you see my deployment was done and i can see my harness has done the deployment so that was done or completely automated i can see two uh, uh, replicas of this survey of this pod is running let me uh, do a port forward of this service to see whether my application is running or not just to make sure yes my application is running so let me you know try to do the monitoring of this application also so for this i'll come back here i will install the node exporter and just to capture the you know uh, the infrastructure specs of this uh, k3d cluster and the node exporter is installed i'll do the get service i will get the cluster ip of this and then i'll insert and this cluster ip into my alloy um, configuration alloy is nothing but an agent which will capture the data from this cluster and it's sent to your grafana cloud just for monitoring perspective so this is additional thing that you can really uh, do it if you really want to skip you can skip it but i just want to make sure that not only you are doing installation you are doing uh, monitoring of that application also right so i will uh, Okay, Dell config map. Okay, I'll delete this and then I'll install this config map again. Right, I will install the alloy helm chart which is going to capture the data. So, what is what we are doing in this in a config map? If you see, I was saying that please emit all my application related metrics and logs and send it to the OTLP exporter which is alloy. 4317 which just now i have installed you see okay get svc which is now running on port number 4317 also now the application will start sending the data to this port number also and let's go back and before we check the matrices let me create some traffic so that the data should flow and ultimately we should get some data onto my you know grafana cloud instance so this is about so first section was more about installing or doing CI/CD using harness. Second section is doing the monitoring of that application. Right. I'll come back to explore. Let me see whether my matrices which we just now sent is going or not. So now I'll run my magic query to see how many uh, matrices are coming now. So I can see. The node exporter matrices are coming that is what we were interested in getting the node exporter matrices right so let me go back and then check the dashboard the uh, node exporter dashboard is the one which i'm interested this should contain data that is what is my uh, the the primary goal for this you know uh, experiment so yeah I, I should come back to my documentation what we did quickly we uh, deploy an application but using harness ci cd and once the application was deployed we did the monitoring of that application uh, using uh, you know uh, grafana alloy let me generate some traces also just to make sure that you know 
matrices are also coming k del i will install i will delete some uh, one of the part to make sure that uh, latest traces are going to my alloy and which is ultimately going to the uh, the grafana for monitoring because what we see the the traces uh, were not there so let me just go back and do that part again kgp pods are running right so now i'm fine let me do this let me do this refresh let me do this hitting of some traffic let me go ahead and delete something perfect now i'll go back again to my inner traces section yeah i will come back not here sorry i'll go back to the explore i'll go back to tempo now i should get some traces that is what i'm expecting yes i'm getting all the traces now you can see 8th of march which is saturday i'm getting at the same time uh, traces are coming i should get logs also from this application now which is actually pulling data from your uh, grafana alloy and the logs are also coming correct so logs matrices traces everything is coming and we started with harness and now we are able to get everything and it should come in your application section also uh, if not wrong yeah that's okay that's a different section altogether so let's you know go back so what we did we quickly created one demo pipeline and to create one demo pipeline the, what are the things that are needed i'll come back to project settings you need a environment basically uh, a connectivity to your a cluster it can be your mini cube cluster it can be your eks cluster that's the first thing that you need and then you need uh, one a delegate delegate will do your uh, connectivity we installed this delegate you can see uh, this delegate today and it is already connected you know this is the version that is also needed uh, that does all the uh, you know communication between your cluster and a harness and then what else we did we installed this connector right and everything was coming in pipeline also so so you don't need, you don't need to worry anything about it and then we created a connection to your uh, github using harness oauth this i think we did not explain but we can you can connect this thing like this okay with ssh credential or oauth so that is pretty much let me wrap up this video and if you have any doubts and suggestions pertaining to harness or pertaining to grafana open tell you can post down into the comment section there are a couple of videos in the same playlist please go through it and in next section uh, we're going to talk about more about more uh, harness experiments and uh, in the same pipeline so we'll be doing more experiment but in the same uh, you know pipeline if you have not like and subscribe the channel please do that this is the channel page i'm talking about and then you can go ahead and simply uh, see what are the things that are available in this you know uh, page uh, there are a lot of playlists pertaining to uh, around 85 videos so you can see uh the grafana open telemetry python aws as your a lot of data that is available you can simply go back and check it and do let me your feedback so let me wrap up uh it was nice uh discussion you know it was nice time to discuss the the first pipeline using harness we'll do more on harness in next future videos thank you for now take care bye, -bye.